The name of this tutorial is Ira Krakow's Blender 2.49B Soft Bodies Tutorial. Soft bodies are materials that have some flexibility, that can deform themselves when forces such as friction or gravity are applied to them. Soft body objects are common in real life. Think of clothing draped on a person or model, jello, rubber, or even metals under certain circumstances. They range in their degree of flexibility. You need to tweak the soft body settings to get the object to resemble the type of material you're trying to model. Rubber tires certainly don't deform in the same way as a balloon or a cape on a Batman. In this tutorial, I will introduce you to the basic concepts behind soft body physics. We're going to see how a soft body responds to gravity. Think of a towel swinging on a towel rack affected by wind and gravity. Start with the default blender scene. Go to front view, num1. We'll delete the default cube. Right click to select, press the delete key and enter to confirm. Add a grid, space, add mesh, grid, with X resolution and Y resolution both set at 20 blender units. Move the grid four or five blender units up in the blue Z direction. If the grid is in object mode, press tab to go into edit mode. Make sure all the vertices are selected. If not, press the A key. Go to the edit buttons, F9. The soft body physics requires that you create a vertex group consisting of all the vertices that will participate in the soft body simulation. In the link in materials panel, there's a group of buttons for creating vertex groups. Click the new button to make all the selected vertices, in this case all the vertices in the grid, part of the vertex group called group. Let's change the name to soft group. Make sure the case matches exactly with the name starting with a capital S and the rest of the name in lowercase. You can define more than one vertex group. For our purposes, we'll use just this one. The weight refers to the default weight setting for each vertex in the group. We can change this later when we weight paint the grid so that certain vertices are not affected by the soft body physics and others are. The default of one means that no vertices deform to the maximum soft body calculation. We'll do the opposite. We'll set the weight to zero and click on Assign. At this setting, all the vertices are affected by the soft body calculations. What does this mean? Let's enable soft body calculations. To do that, with the grid selected, tab into Object Mode. Select the Object buttons, F7, and then click on the Physics buttons. Click on the Soft Body button. Then click the Use Goal button. Click the little icon with the up and down arrows to show that soft group vertex group has been selected. And that's it. Navigate with either the middle mouse button or alt left click if your computer has the emulate 3D mouse button enabled in user preferences to give the view some downward perspective. To start the soft body animation with the 3D cursor in the 3D window press alt A or press Alt-Shift-A, which will make the animation work in all windows. What happened? The object falls to the ground. Press Escape to stop the animation. The object's affected by friction, mass, gravity, and speed settings. In particular, the gravity setting, 9.8, has the most effect. 9.8 is the setting for Earth's gravity, so the idea is that the object falling into the ground something like it would under Earth-like conditions. If we set, say, friction to a high number, change it to 5 from its default, and then press Alt-A to rerun the animation, the object falls to the ground a lot slower because of the friction. The animation takes place over Blender's default of 250 frames at 25 frames per second. And you can change that. Not all the vertices in the vertex group have to be affected by soft body physics. This happens a lot in real life. Think of a towel hanging on a towel rack or a flag waving in the wind. The part of the towel or flag that's closest to the towel rack or flagpole stays still while the rest of the towel or flag is affected. Painting the mesh to reflect realistically what moves and what doesn't move is the key to making the soft body effect realistic. Blender's weight paint feature lets us do exactly that. To show how this works, go to top view, num7, then switch to weight paint mode. Note how the grid turns all blue. Press the N key to access the Weight Paint Properties panel. What this does is allow us to paint onto the mesh the areas we want affected by the soft body calculation. 
there's a color gradient between 0 and 1, blue standing for 0 and red standing for 1. Set the weight to 1. You can set other parameters such as opacity and brush size as well as blend with the other underlying mesh colors, but for now we'll keep it simple and just make the right corner not be affected by the soft body physics. Paint along the right corner of the grid. Note that it turns red. Go to front view, num1, and give the mesh some downward perspective as before. Start the animation, alt shift a. Now, instead of the soft body falling through the floor, the effect is more like a towel hanging on a towel rack, with the red area not moving and the blue area swinging. Soft bodies can interact with other objects in a realistic way. Let's add a sphere in an area that would be affected by the swinging soft body. Press Shift C to position the 3D cursor at 000 at the origin. Then add an icosphere. Space Add Mesh Icosphere, accepting the defaults. Press Alt Shift A to animate. The soft body is not affected by the sphere, even though you would want the mesh to drape around the sphere somehow. To get that effect, select the icosphere. Go to the physics buttons and click on collision. Start the animation, Alt Shift A. The mesh now wraps around the icosphere, more or less as if a towel collided with a big ball while the towel was swinging in the wind. You can tweak the inner, outer, absorption, and damping settings to get the effect you want. We can have a lot of fun with soft bodies. Let's delete the icosphere by selecting it, pressing the delete key, and pressing enter to confirm. Let's paint the left edge of the mesh red so it's not affected by soft body physics. Again, go to top view, make sure the weight paint is set to 1. Paint the left edge of the grid red. Press Alt A to animate. Now the grid object behaves more like a hammock, motionless on the side but responsive to gravity in between. Press Escape to end the animation. Go back into weight paint. Let's paint the four corners red and the rest of the mesh blue. And we'll change the gravity setting from 9.8 to negative 9.8 to make the mesh respond as if it was pulled upwards by gravity. Press Alt Shift A to animate. Note how the effect is as if the mesh was blown upward, although anchored at its corners. I hope you get the idea by now. There's a lot you can do with soft bodies. I hope you're inspired to experiment with this marvelous tool. If you are, don't forget to hit the YouTube subscribe button and to discuss my tutorial at forum.iracrackow.com. Happy blendering!